All right, everyone, Nothing OS 4 is finally here. Um, and yes, it's built on the brand new Android 16. It's exciting. But let's manage our expectations. A lot of the headline features we saw in the launch video, they're not actually in this first beta. It is the very first build, so we can cut them some slack. But seriously, a word of warning, do not install this on your main phone unless you are prepared for a world of bugs. It is very much a beta. So what's actually new right now, visually, it's subtle. On the lock screen, you get two new clock styles. They look clean and have this cool futuristic vibe, but I'll be honest, they're not the easiest to read on the always-on display. The quick settings panel has been flattened out for a cleaner look, and we finally have a true extra dark mode that is actually black. This is great for saving battery on those AMOLED screens, and it just looks so much sleeker. Widgets, as always, are the soul of nothing OS. Uh, if you're on the new Phone 3, you can now run up to six of these essential app e widgets directly on your lock screen. For older models, it's still capped at two. The animations throughout the OS feel noticeably smoother. It's not a huge leap, but it's a refinement you can feel as you navigate around. And here's a pleasant surprise. Older phones might actually feel faster thanks to a new app optimization setting. That is a rare and welcome improvement in the world of software updates. Feature-wise, the biggest new addition is pop-up view, which lets you run apps in a floating window. It works, but it's pretty standard stuff that we've seen on other phones for a while. The camera gets a new stretch preset uh, created with Jordan Hemingway. It gives your photos this super contrasty, almost film-like artistic vibe. It's cool, but all the other promised camera upgrades, they're still missing in action. Under the hood, there are some nice quality of life improvements. Lock screen transitions are smoother, automatic brightness control is more responsive, and Wi-Fi stability has been improved. Nothing is also dipping its toes into AI with an intelligence toolkit, which is basically a dashboard showing your AI usage stats. Right now, it feels pretty basic compared to what Samsung and Google are doing with Galaxy AI and Gemini. The real charm continues to be the community-built essential apps we're seeing things like F1 schedules, a mini calculator, a water tracker, and fun little glyph toys like a Pomodoro timer or a data usage meter. It's this ecosystem that makes nothing OS special. The open beta is currently available for the phone three, phone two, and the phone two-way. No word on the 3A models just yet. Overall, nothing OS, 4.0's first beta is a collection of small, meaningful refinements rather than a massive revolution, my advice. Wait for the stable release. It's promising and I think it'll be worth the wait. Thanks so much for watching. If you found this helpful, drop a like and consider subscribing for more updates. Catch you in the next one.